Let's go! Use the object selection tool to make a selection of the subject. With the selection active, enable the flood fill tool and add a pixel layer from the layers panel. Set your fill color to white and fill the selected area. Disable the selection by using Command or Ctrl D and switch the fill color to black and fill the rest of the image. Switch the fill color back to white and fill the white area again to get a crispier white image. From the vector menu, use the image trace function and set the curve filling tolerance to 100% and the threshold to around 50 to 60%. This will create a group with curve objects. Get the main white curve out of the group and delete the group as we don't need it anymore. Now we have a nice curve selection of our subject. To create a border, clear the fill, set the border color and increase the outline thickness to your liking. To offset the border we created, switch to the vector persona and use the contour tool. Drag the curve with the contour tool to get the desired offset. If you have these strange artifacts, switch to the node tool and select the nodes in the area and use the smooth curve option from the toolbar. Rinse and repeat for other areas if needed. Cool, we now have a smooth border around our subject. To create a fill for the border, we have two options. Option 1 is to duplicate the border, select the border at the bottom and set its fill to white. Then use the contour tool to make it slightly bigger than the border on top. We can now use the border on top to mask out the white filled layer. Awesome! We can now fill the layer any way we like. If you just want a gradient colored border, then we can use the border we created initially and then in the fill tool, set the context to stroke and set the fill type we want. For the rainbow effect, use the conical gradient type and set the colors. Let me know in the comments if you want a full tutorial. Like and subscribe before you move on for more cool affinity tutorials.